Hello. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> Welcome back. In this section, um, we are going to talk about section three, and that's what we are going to be designing. This is example of what we are coming to do. So let's do it. As you can see, I currently haven't done it. So let's start doing it. We add a new section row. And inside this section row, we will do something. This will be the title, and we call it code 12. We want to give it display 5 so that it will not take uh, the place of this H1. Bold. We we'll we'll make it bold. Of course, H4 will be smaller than H1. Sure. So we want to make it margin bottom. Whenever I type NB, like here, I have NB, and over here, I'm doing it again. It simply means margin bottom. Something like this, margin, margin bottom. So this is a bootstrap class, NB4. So um, I don't want to make it bold, we say. Um, But something is lacking. We want it to be in the center, and we want the padding from top here, you know, to be enough. So to do that, let's start with the padding. We want to pad it on y-axis. That is P Y. I want to give it a value of five. You can give a value of one, two, two, or three, or four, or five. I think five is the maximum. So let's use general padding of three and we come inside here and we can say test center i should have do the test center here but mind you that um, our test is not directly inside here is either is rather inside a h tag h1 tag so because of that we test it, we flex it, a line is centered inside the H1. That's why I didn't I didn't type it here, rather I typed it here. So I think we are almost there. Moving down to our picture. We want this picture to be call MD6. MB5, MB, MD. I think uh, one of my classes I'm going to explain about MB, MD, PY, P2, all this um, bootstrap stuff. I'm going, I'm going to explain it, but of course, you can go to bootstrap website and you know, study for yourself. Moving down, we want to add an image which is ing. We want to give it src, that is the link or the directory where the image is. We want to give it a height of 100% and a width of 100%. Width of 100%. Src, we want to go to our assets asset folder. Inside our asset folder, there is another folder called images. Then inside that images, look for a file called radfi. Radfi one, radfi two. That is the name of the file, and its format is JPG. The computer computer isn't brilliant. You have to tell it everything. You have to tell it everything. 
good so it is finally is able to get a picture we wanted to get and we are almost done let's do the final part of this um, this game actually take it as a game <laughs> so I want to make it MD6 and want to say MT4 but MT MT MD MD2 custom view class roll 12 row um, I don't know if there's something else I should do here but this will be class call says Okay, so I'm coming to add an icon here. Um, there's a there's a easier way to do it. Though I I can simply type something like icon, I class, icon, grid. I want to use grid. P3 rounded, rounded, and I want to give it um color. Let's give it a color so that a warning. So that you know it looks more like an SVG. <sighs> There's an easier way of getting this icon, but mind you, what I've typed here may not work for you because I'm using a simple line icon pack provided by PHP RAD by default. But you can simply come here, let's say you can come here, pick icon. These are tons of icon here. You can decide to pick anyone you like. Let's say I've chose this. All I need to do is just to copy the copy the um, the icon line code and simply pasting it here. Okay. So when you paste it, you can go ahead and you know be three rounded rounded alert alert warning. My alert warning is actually the color I wanted to pick. Let me show you how it looks like so that we can continue. You see the icon, good. So let's do the rest. Font NM isn't um, Bootstrap class. It's actually my own class. You, it's, it's just a font size. It's another way of specifying font size. But I think I will show you how I did that. Something, something about just here. I don't need this long article then. And this guy can give it a little bit the margin button here. Then the class. This is where we will have our actual article. So let's preview this thing and see how it looks like. As you can see, it's exactly the way we want it to be. But um, so we will just do we will duplicate this column and we'll have multiple of it and we we'll make it a bit um, we change the colors so that they will be different from each other. Here we have a let one and we can make it a let primary. Okay. And we'll move down V. We have a let one in here. We can make it success. Success is a green color. Most of the time. Then we we'll move down. We can have something like this one. We make it danger. Danger. Danger is actually red color. And having done all this, then I think we are done. 
we are done but mark that they are having the same icon you can simply change it okay you can simply change that but basically that's our section three we said that we are coming to do that's what we have ready for us so let's view it on a bigger browser on a more defined browser section three something about section three these are the icon we put together good what do you think i think is nice but just jot down your comment below and we'll, i'll meet you guys in the next class but um i just want to let you know that i'm thinking of starting a blog tutorial how to make a blog a follow asks me to do something like that so i'll be doing it in after this landing page series i think we have about section four and section five in our landing page to complete but if you have more section you want me to add of course we can just keep adding to our section our landing page sections and that's it in my next landing page tutorial not on this series but in the next series i'm going to show you how to link all these tests to your database therefore you can simply change something here let's say you can add something like title hello or section two or section what it will just take the changes here or anywhere here so you're actually picking from your database into this just stay tuned stick around share this um, my youtube video so that i'll get more subscribers subscribe like comment and i'll catch you guys in the next one